Ew, tongue of wolf and sauteed frog guts? Yuck! I need to go to the market. Uh-oh, my birthday! I'm not ready! Wait, I know what'll get me to the store fast. The witch's broom! I'm a lousy witch. I think I'll walk. Wiggle, snap, story time. Let's go! Story time, story time. Miss Booksy's gonna meet you inside. Her magic books, Cinderella's dress in blue. Goldilocks and spinning clock. Wiggle, snap, wiggle, snap. Everybody wiggle, snap. Wiggle, snap, wiggle, snap. Everybody wiggle, Seriously, you guys, someone want to help me set the table? Ouch! Yeah, sure is quiet around here. How come she has so many friends? I could have some fun with those little guys. I need some peace and quiet. Hi, witch. You look awfully tired, my dear. Need some help? I need a break. Do you have a vacation potion? I can help with that. Yeah, try this. Wow, that would be great. An actual vacation. <laughs> Woohoo! Mm, no, that's not right. Okay, try this one. <laughs> Hiya, fellas. There's a new princess in town. Geez, maybe I need a nap. I think I'm seeing things. Where am I? Ah! Gee, when I said vacation, this isn't exactly what I had in mind. Well, it is quiet. You know, it's kind of nice. Okay, boys, who wants some lunch? Okay, great! Some Eye of Newt stew with a little skunk liver on the side. Coming right up. Yeah. Oh, yuck. What happened to Snow White? Ah. Ew, tongue of wolf and sauteed frog guts? Yuck! I need to go to the market. Uh-oh, my birthday! I'm not ready! Wait, I know what'll get me to the store fast. The witch's broom. I'm a lousy witch. I think I'll walk. <laughs> hey, look out! No, don't throw that! <laughs> Maybe this friendship thing isn't all it's cracked up to be. Gee, I thought that would work. Well, that didn't work. Oh no, this is bad. I better find a potion to turn them back. Gee, with no one to share it with, birthdays just aren't the same. Hi, Mrs. Witch. I, I came by to buy a special potion for Snow White. You see, she's kind of my girl, and well, I think she could really use some rest. She's been so tired lately. That's so kind, but look closely, it's me, Snow White! <sighs> I was actually thinking the witch looked pretty good. I came to the witch for some peace and quiet, and she sent me to her house. Gee, I wonder where she is. The witch, she treated me with these statues. At first we thought she was you, but then she made liver and newts and lots of crazy stuff. And then she wanted us to help around the house, and we knew you would never ask us to do that. And then she wanted us to calm down, and oh, that's not going to happen. And then she turned everyone into statues. Help! Oh no, we better do something quick. Let's go. Let's take the witch's broom. That'll be faster. 
Um, yeah, nah, let's not. Trust me. But maybe I have witch's powers I don't know about. Um, abracadabra. Help us get to the witch's house in one giant leap. Ah! Wow, I am so not good at this. What happened? I don't know how you put up with these guys. I admit they're a handful, but I miss them. You can have them. They're all yours. So you'll switch us back? Faster than you can say cod liver pasta. Quiet and peace, peace and quiet. Turn these statues back into a crazy dwarf riot. As for the princess and me, it's plain to see. We each are better off being who we're supposed to be. Bow wow. Wow, I am really off my game. Snow White the princess, we all know. Please turn her back this time so I can go. Mary Shelley Frankenstein, sister to the world's biggest mischief-making little brother, Victor Frankenstein. That's Dr. Frankenstein. He's not a doctor, obviously. He's ten. <laughs> ten and a half. Anyway, one day he was bored. And when Victor Frankenstein gets bored, bad things happen. One time, he filled all my shoes with slime! Ew! Victor! And then one time, he put baking soda and vinegar in his teacher's coffee. And yeah, it exploded. Victor! And this one time, oh, this is really bad, he put glue on the toilet seat and my dad got stuck! Ah! Victor! So like I was saying, bored Victor equals bad Victor. And that's how the story begins. I'm bored! I want to make something. Something big, something bad, something epic. I know! Today I'm gonna create a monster! Uh-oh! Victor went down to his laboratory, aka our basement, and got to work. That's where he did all his experiments. Some fishing hooks, I can use those. Slinky, check. Some nuts and bolts and screws and stuff, sure. Modeling clay, finger paints, glue, grandpa's toupee, perfect. A garbage can, some brooms, a mop, googly eyes, a couple of my sister's patriotic girl dolls, my old teddy bear, Mr. Teddy Puff Puff. Wait, no, I didn't mean it, Mr. Teddy Puff Puff. Promise, forgive me? <laughs> I love you too, Teddy. Aw, that's sweet. But don't be fooled. Victor was up to a seriously naughty scheme. Now back to my seriously naughty scheme. It's time to create my monster. A monster that will wreak havoc and destroy the whole world. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, don't be scared, Mr. Teddy Puff Puff. My monster won't destroy you. Now, time to work. Victor worked all day into the night, not even stopping for snack time. He snipped, ripped, chopped, blew, Fastened, refastened, attached thingamabobs and whatchamacallits until finally he was satisfied. My monster! Now to bring him to life! It's alive! Okay, I thought that would work. It's alive? How do I turn this thing on? It's. it's. It's alive! <laughs> yes! And now we will unleash chaos onto the world! <laughs> oh, are you hungry? Uh. Let's see, what do monsters eat? There's some leftover meatloaf in here. It's really gnarly, so you might like that. Nom 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 nom. Okay, you get enough to eat yet? We have to go wreak havoc and chaos and stuff! Uh. 
Whoa, awesome! Hey, wait for me! Victor! You stop right there, young man. Who made this mess? My monster did it? Right, sure. A monster did it. Well, guess who's going to clean it up? Me? That's right. But... Oh, no buts. But there was a but. A big one. A real, live monster was on the loose. But really, he was probably more afraid than anyone. The world was brand new to him, and he couldn't help but be frightened. Oh, sad. <gasps> Finally, he found a nice resting spot and fell asleep. Okay, so maybe it wasn't such a good resting spot because during recess, the jungle gym is a pretty happening spot. And it wasn't very long until... And that woke the monster. The monster felt a little bit safer in the woods. He sat there and watched the playground waiting for the kids to leave. A bell rang and the kids left. But then an older group of kids came out, including me. Ow! What's the matter? You don't like dodgeball? I like dodgeball just fine, but we weren't playing dodgeball. You simply threw the ball at my head. See, that I don't like. Whatever, Mary Shelley Stinkenstein. That's not my name. Mary Shelley Stinkenstein. Mary Shelley Stinkenstein. Oh, not cool. Ah! Yeah, monster, run! Thank you for chasing away those bullies, but I have to ask, are you a nice monster or a mean monster? Okay, I'm gonna take a wild, possibly dangerous guess and say that you seem like a nice monster. I'm Mary. Repeat after me. Monster. 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 Mon. Okay, that's pretty close. Now add the stir. Monster. Monster. Great. Okay, I should really teach you some more words, but that took like an hour, so let's move on to something else. How about some social skills? Let's try a handshake. Ah. Now we put our hands together and then we shake. Uh, oh, uh, oh. Oh, good, thanks. All right, it's time for me to go home for dinner. Do you think you'll be okay here for tonight? Uh, yeah, you better come with me. I'll hide you in my old playhouse. But by the time I got home and the monster was all settled in, news had gotten out. Reports of the mystery monster have been coming in all day. From people like this gentleman, I nearly ran him over in my car last night. I don't know if my insurance would have covered that. And these innocent children. I was just minding my own business when he tried to hit me with a ball. City officials are urging citizens to stay inside and lock your doors. But some local vigilantes want to take matters into their own hands. Yeah, we're going to get that monster. I ain't afraid of no monster. Uh-oh. Oh, no. According to eyewitness reports, the monster has caused over $11,000 in damage, and an old-fashioned pitchfork and torch-wielding gang of locals has sworn to capture the beast. Yeah! yeah. Back to you, Chuck. Oh, dear! I told you it was the monster that wrecked the kitchen. Go to bed, Victor. Well, I couldn't just leave the monster outside in my old playhouse, not with a bunch of vigilantes out there hunting him. Shh, okay, you can sleep in here, but you have to be quiet. Aw, that's sweet. Now, do you want the top bunk or the bottom? Oh, you're not sleepy? Do you want to play a game? So we played some games. We played Twister, Right Foot Blue, eh, close enough. Jenga, Jenga, Jenga. <laughs> then we went full on slumber party and did spa night. Ah! I thought I heard my monster in here. Your monster? Yeah, I created him in the basement. What's he doing with all that gunk on his face? We were having a spa night. What? Monsters don't do spa nights? Monsters are supposed to be ferocious and fierce and wreak havoc. He's not that kind of monster. I found him in the woods by the playground. 
He saved me from bullies, and now there are bullies looking for him. We have to protect our monster. Our monster? I think you mean my monster. He's coming with me. No way! Hey! Stop! Stop! Hey, keep it down in there. Quick, hide the monster. What on earth is going on in here? Nothing, Mom. Yep, nothing to see here. Uh-uh. What was that? Oh, my stomach. I don't think that leftover meatloaf sat too well with me, but uh, I'll be okay. <laughs> okay, well, time for bed. Yes, Mom. Okay, Mom. Now. Uh. Meatloaf! You sure you're okay? Yep. <laughs> Good night. See ya mañana. Bye. Okay. Good night. Phew. That was close. <sighs> We can't keep him here. There's no way mom and dad will let us keep a monster. True. But we can't take him outside either. The vigilante bully gang is looking for him. What if they hurt him? But he's a monster. He could just destroy the gang. Easy peasy. <laughs> you seem to be forgetting that he's not the destructive, dangerous type. He's a big, sweet softy. Look. <laughs> yeah, I guess he's not going to wreak any havoc. Hey, I know. Let's take him to Professor Weirdly's house. She'll know what to do. Great idea. Science teachers for the win. <laughs> okay, now how do we get him out of here without attracting attention? Of course. Uh -huh. Perfect. Let's go. <laughs> so we set out into the night with our monster. It was a little scary, but there's no time to fear when you're on a mission. Super brave, right? Well, that was all about to change. We didn't know it yet, but the vigilante gang was closing in. So all was going according to plan. We were on our way to see Professor Weirdly, the science teacher at our school. She would know what to do with the STEM project gone awry. Okay, cool. I can see Professor Weirdly's house. We're almost there. Watch out! Is that what I think it is? Yep. What do we do now? Um, we could blast them with a giant water balloon or some of their projectiles. Or we could just catch a protective force field around ourselves. Ooh, or we could sick a giant robot on them. Or we could run. That's always an option. Let's go. What do we have here? Oh, hi, sir. <laughs> nice weather we're having, huh? What are you kids doing out here this time of night? Who, us? Yes, you. We're just out for a little evening stroll. And you? I'm out looking for that monster that's been terrorizing the town. Oh, I haven't heard anything about that. Have you, Victor? No, Mary, not a word. A monster, you say? Who's that? Hmm? I said, who's that? Oh, her? Yes, uh, that's our grandma. Yep, <laughs> old granny. <laughs> but don't bother trying to talk to her. She's hard of hearing. <laughs> Granny, we're just telling this nice pitchfork-wielding gentleman that you're a little hard of hearing. <laughs> well, I guess it's our bedtime. Good night. Excuse us. <laughs> oh, hi, guys. We were just leaving. Come on, Granny. <laughs> Seemed too easy, right? We were just going to walk away, but then suddenly we heard... <laughs> Come on, Gran. Time for bed. Arr! Yeah, that's a kitty. Let's go. But the monster, being a big old sweetheart, jumped into the tree to rescue the kitten. Great. Wow, your granny sure is spry. Hey, she saved the kitten. Okay, Granny. Good job. Now let's go. Uh oh. That's him. That's the monster. Get him. The gang was all riled up, and things were getting very scary. One guy swung his pitchfork up at the monster. Ha! I'll get ya! But he missed. Phew! But then it landed. Ah! Hey! You stuck me! And that guy had been waving around a torch, so when he got poked with the pitchfork, he accidentally lit another guy's pants on fire. <laughs> it was chaos! Finally! We could have just run away at that point, but the monster was such a big old sweetie that he just had to jump down and help. Ah, uh, that's better. Phew, thanks. Hey, wait, he's being nice. Monsters aren't nice. 
Well, this one is. He protected me from bullies. He rescued that kitten, and now he's helping you. Yeah, and I created him specifically to be a supervillain, too. I don't know what went wrong. So will you guys leave him alone now? Are you sure he's good? Look at him. <laughs> yeah, okay. We'll let you go. But you all better get home soon. It's late. We know. Just one more stop. Come on, guys. Let's go to Professor Weirdly's. And Victor, you say you made this all by yourself? Yep. Awesome, right? Very impressive. Where will you keep him, Professor? I think he'll be happy at school. He can live in the lab. So from that night on, our monster lived in Professor Weirdly's science lab at the school. <laughs> it was great. He took care of the class pets. He helped kids with their homework. Well, he tried anyway. He was the best school monster ever, and Victor and I got to see him every day. It was awesome. Yeah, but next time, I'll create a super bad monster that wreaks havoc and mayhem and destruction and, and... Oh boy, here we go. It's alive! Ah! Happy, Happy Halloween! It's time for a brand new adventure with Drew Pendus and his mighty pen ultimate! In today's story, Drew and his friends are dressed to thrill. Awesome! Things were getting kind of fun and spooky at Cool School. Everybody was hanging up decorations and carving pumpkins. And most importantly, we got ready for the costume contest. Ooh, let's do something as a group! We've totally got to win this year! What should we do? Let's not be monsters! I don't want to be scared! What if you're the monster, Robbie? Then you won't be scared of any of us! As long as I don't look in a mirror, that could work. You can be Frankenstein's monster. I'll be Dr. Frankenstein. Nikki, you can be Igor. I'll be the Bride of Frankenstein. Let's get started drawing and painting these costumes. Let's do it. Meanwhile, Cruel School was also getting ready. Although, they always always look kind of spooky. I want us to do vampire costumes. I think we should be werewolves. No, we should be zombies. What about unicorns? They're so pretty. The more time we spend arguing, the less time we have to make these costumes. Ugh, as much as I hate to say it, Ray is right. We need to just pick one. Fine, we could be vampires, but only if I get to I be- I get to be Dracula. Dibs, I called it. No fair. Too bad. I'll be Dracula, and you can all be my vampire bat sidekicks. Can Dracula have a unicorn sidekick, too? No unicorns, Timmy. Wait, Ella, you need one more thing. Perfect. And now it's time for our monster. Nice job. How do I look? Great. Want me to draw a mirror? No, no, no. I trust you. Now it's time to work on our act! Do you guys know how to sing Putting on the Ritz? Meanwhile, the Cruel School gang was getting dressed in their costumes. But something <sighs> wasn't right with Ray. Are you okay, Ray? You seem tired. I'm fine! Somebody help me put on my cape! I can barely move my arms with these wings tied to them! It's driving me batty! This was not a good idea. Finally, it was the night of the big costume party. Dean Mean. Are you supposed to be a kitty cat? No, I'm a lion. The costume shop was sold out of manes and fangs, okay? All right, everyone, settle down. It's time to start the show. First up, the kindergartners. Oh. Ah, I can't help it. They're too cute. I have to give them a nine out of 10. I told you guys we should have been unicorns. So the costume contest continued. There were mummies and wizards. Nobody was quite sure what Frankie was dressed as. But then it was time for Drew and his friends. Ooh. Welcome to my lab. I'll just draw some switches. Igor, flip the switch. It's alive! Ah, Frankenstein! Actually, Frankenstein was the name of the doctor, not the monster. Oh, I didn't know that. Halloween. Great special effects. 
excellent craftsmanship. Actually, a little scary. 10 out of 10. Great job, guys. Let's take a selfie. Look how great we look. Yeah, I didn't want to see myself. I'm a monster. Ah. And now it's time for Ray and friends from Cruel School. This better be good. I thought we were just making ghost sounds. This is terrible. Where's your Dracula? Where's Ray? I don't know. He just disappeared. Ugh, just keep flapping those wings. Sorry, kids. You're missing your star. That means the winner is... Drew and Friends from Cool School. Yeah! Aw, thanks, everybody. Sorry if anyone got scared, especially me. What happened out there? Ray disappeared right before the show. So lame. Grr, when I find him, he's getting detention for the rest of the year. Scratch that, the rest of every year. Hey guys, is Ray all right? Who cares? We lost because of him. He's still your friend. You should be worried if he's missing. Whatever, I'm going home to eat candy and feel better. Well, I wanna make sure he's okay. I'm gonna look for him. Ray, are you around here? Hmm. Ray, wake up! <gasps> Where am I? You fell asleep in this broom closet. You missed the whole costume contest. Oh man, I'm just so tired. I haven't been sleeping all week. I've been too scared. Why? What are you scared of? I can't tell you. You'll make fun of me. How about this? I'll tell you something that I'm scared of, and you can tell me what you're scared of. We'll say it at the same time. Deal? Okay. One, two, three. There's a monster orange in Orange juice. Room. Wait, what? You're afraid of orange juice? I hate the pulp. It just tastes so weird. But hold on. You think there's a monster in your room? Yeah. Every night when I'm trying to fall asleep, I start hearing footsteps. It's so scary. I haven't slept in days. Okay, I have an idea. I'll come over to your house for a sleepover tonight. If there's a monster in your room, we'll catch it. Really? You would help me? Sure, let's catch that monster. <clears throat> let's see what happens next. Okay, Drew, we're almost there. Now don't get into any trouble. That Ray Blank can be a bad influence. Don't worry, Mom. We're just gonna play some games, watch some TV. We are definitely not trying to capture a monster in the middle of the night. What? Nothing. Thanks for letting my friend Drew have a sleepover tonight. Of course, Ray. Now remember that Drew Bendis can be a good influence, so don't learn anything nice from him. You're supposed to be a bad guy. Don't worry. I promise I won't learn to be nice. He's here! Hi, Mrs. Bendis. Hi, Ray. Hope you boys have fun tonight. Ew, Mom, you're embarrassing me. That's part of my job. Now I'll pick you up tomorrow. I love you. Whoa, Ray, your house is pretty cool. Bad guys don't have houses, we have lairs. Nice to meet you, Mr. Blank. Please, call me Mel. Dinner time, everyone. Uh-oh, since you're evil, do you eat gross things for dinner? I don't want to eat bugs. Here you go, Drew. Oh, spaghetti, that's good. Yep, I stole it from a kid in the park. Did he cry? Sure did. <laughs> Come on, Drew. Let's eat up so we can catch that monster. What? Nothing. Okay, Ray, tell me exactly what's been going on. I always like to have a glass of milk next to my bed before I go to sleep. But every night, after the lights go out, I hear footsteps. So I hide under the covers. Then when I wake up in the morning, the glass of milk is empty. It's a monster. I just know it. Hmm, that's weird. But this time, we'll be ready. Looks like we're out of milk. Oh well, this will have to do. Ah, orange juice! Get that away from me! Oh yeah, I forgot. You're afraid of orange juice. The pulp just tastes so weird, all right? Well, too bad. We're both facing our fears tonight. Let's go. Okay, fine. Let's be brave. Drew took out his mighty penultimate and turned into... The Stupendous Stupendous! 
Here's the plan. I'll draw a decoy in your bed. Then we'll hide behind that junk and see what happens. Is that what you think I look like? It doesn't have to look perfect. Let's get this under your covers. Then turn off the lights. And now we'll keep watch. You've really got to clean your room, Ray. Shh. Any minute now, I promise. Ray, it's been a while. Are you sure something's gonna happen? Look, the closet door. A monster, I told you. Okay, you've got this. Time for a big scare. But first, a glass of milk. <laughs> Orange juice with pulp? Ah! Now! Gotcha! Ah! I'm scared! Wait, you're scared? But you're a monster! I know, but I'm not scary enough. Yeah, you do look kind of cute. Cute? Oh no! I'm a failure! What do you mean? I'm just a kid in monster school. I've got to scare a certain number of people to earn my stripes. You know, because monsters with stripes are always scarier. Have you been drinking my milk every night? Yeah, my mom says that milk makes you big and strong. I'm tiny and cuddly, so I thought some milk would help. Listen to my roar! Roar! See? Not scary at all. So you're just a kid like us? Doing well in school is tough. I get it. And you just want to grow up. Here, I'll draw some milk for you. Gee, thanks. Now I just need to find somebody to scare so I can get a good grade. If I fail another scaring test, I could get detention. You get detention too? I know what that's like. Okay, I've got somebody who could really use a good scare. Oh, Mama, I hope you're proud of me. I'm trying so hard to be a good dean, and I just want Miss Booksy to respect me. Here goes nothing! Ah! Monster! Yes! Earn my stripes! It worked! More of the story, kids. Don't be scared of monsters. They probably just want some milk. Oh, and when it comes to orange juice, pulp isn't so bad. It's really not. What? No! No! I'm turning to stone! Why? Help! 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 Wow. Oh no! Snow White had become a statue from head to toe. The dwarves were just coming back from work. What's that? Looks like a statue! It looks like Snow White. Cool! I want a statue that looks like me! Wait! I think this is Snow White. It must be an evil curse from that evil queen. She's so evil. Oh, no. Today we're reading Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Giggle, snap, story time. White was the coolest girl around. She was funny. And then I said, that's not a yo-yo. It's a chicken. <laughs> and best of all, she was kind to every oh. creature on Earth. She was even kind to her stepmother, Katrine, Francesca, Karina, Amelia, Anastasia, Von Kluster, Scott, and Scott. You can call her the Evil Queen for short. As you might guess, the Evil Queen was not nice at all. It's like she only cares about herself. Yes, that was the problem. The Queen did not care for anyone other than herself, and she cared for herself way too much. She even traveled all the way to Grim Forest, wow. where the witches live, just to buy a magic mirror that would tell her how great she was. Story time, story time. Miss Booksy's gonna meet you inside. Her magic books, Cinderella's dress in blue, Goldilocks and spinning clock. Wiggle snap, wiggle snap, everybody wiggle snap, wiggle snap, wiggle snap, everybody wiggle This one is real nice. It'll tell you how wonderful you are. Error, error. Oh! Never mind, that one's no good. Okay, now this magic mirror is top of the line. You're gonna love it. Honestly, 
I'm getting some mean vibes from you. <laughs> Next. Uh, okay, uh, this one. This is a great magic mirror. Go ahead, ask it. Excuse me, Mr. Mirror. No, 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 no. You gotta say mirror, mirror on the wall. It likes that. All right. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the most amazing person of all? You are my queen. You are the most amazing person of all. You're the best. Aha, I'll take it. Oh man, Snow White's stepmother loved that mirror. She would ask it like a dozen times a day if she was still the most amazing person in all the land. Will you pass the gravy, please? Hold on, hold on. Mirror, mirror on the wall. It's your turn. Yes, yes, one moment. Mirror, mirror on the wall. This again? <laughs> On the wall. Who I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> so yeah, the mirror was pretty annoying. The queen loved giving Snow White chores, as evil queens tend to do. So one day she was cleaning the evil queen's bedroom. She was just about finished when she noticed some schmutz on the magic mirror. Snow White reached out to dust the mirror and... <gasps> it's you! What? You are the most amazing person in the land. Why, thank you, but don't say that. The queen will get, like, really mad. Ugh, she is so mean. But I can see that you have a good heart. <laughs> Thanks for the compliment, but you really must keep telling her that she's the best. Promise? Okay. Long story short, the mirror did not keep his promise for long. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the most amazing person of all? You, my lady, are an amazing person. Of all? Yeah, sure. Of all. Say it then. Say the whole thing. Um... <laughs> what is that? Nothing, nothing, nothing. It sounded like something. It's just that Snow White may be more amazing. But the queen didn't scream or break things, and she didn't cry. She was just very quiet. That's not good, kids. When the evil queen gets quiet, it means she's really, 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 really mad. For revenge, she gave Snow White an endless list of chores to do. I had to clip her toenails. Ugh. I had to brush her cat's teeth. And as always, I had to clean her room, which she had left super messy on purpose. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Tomorrow I'm sending you to the Grim Forest to return this defective mirror. I'm sure you'll both have a lovely time. Wake up! What time is it? It's time to go to the Grim Forest. <laughs> Here's the mirror. What happened to it? It's all smashed! See? I told you it was defective. See ya! She'll find her way into the forest, but she'll never find her way out! <laughs> okay, this is only extremely very scary. No big deal. I wish the queen hadn't busted the mirror. He would be good company about now. Ugh, in these directions. Walk backwards down the dragon's path? Make a left at the gargoyles. A backwards left or a frontwards left? Then hop on one foot. Why? And so the wishes shop should be? Yoo-hoo, right here. You looking for me? Yeah, how'd you know? Oh, just witch's intuition. That means I'm a really good guesser. Come inside. So, my stepmom wants to return this mirror. Oh, this mirror is very smart. Top of the line. Or at least it was. Yeah, I think the queen had a temper tantrum. <laughs> I remember her. Ugh, she's a doozy. Tell me about it. <laughs> this mirror was perfect for her. He knows when to tell a little white lie. Oh, like telling her she's the most amazing in the land? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a fib if I ever heard them. Hey, think we could just fix the mirror? I was starting to like him, and I have a feeling I'm going to need his all-knowing powers. <laughs> all-knowing is good. We'll just put a new face on him, new frame, and boom, looks brand wow. new. Awesome. Snow White said goodbye to the witch and began her journey out of the grim forest. Why, hello there. Hi. <laughs> Maybe the Grim Forest isn't so bad. 
Once upon a time, a girl named Snow White was on a journey through the woods and needed to find her way home. Luckily, she had a magic mirror with her. It's getting dark and I'm lost. Wait, I know. The mirror will know how to get out. Um, hello, Mr. Mirror? Where's the on switch? <laughs> Snow White tried everything she could think of to get the mirror to work. She tried voice command. Mirror, activate. She tried shaking it. Finally, she tried yelling at no one in particular. Why? Um, excuse me, ma'am. Ah! Sorry, didn't mean to frighten you. Are you okay? I'm lost, and it's dark, and this mirror is supposed to know everything, and it won't turn on. And I'm hungry, and I'm scared, and Aww. who are you? I'm the professor. You must be smart. Do you know the way out of this forest? I need to get back to my kingdom. Yep, follow me. OK. The professor led Snow White out of the grim forest, all the way to where Snow White had began. Thank you so much, professor. <laughs> You're welcome. I hope to see you again one day. They said their goodbyes, and Snow White went inside the palace to give her stepmother the mirror. You're back? I mean, um, you're, you're back. How lovely. And I brought you a new mirror. <laughs> I don't know how to turn it on, though. It needs batteries. Duh. Oh. <laughs> well, good night. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the most amazing person of all? Better say me. It's you, my queen. <laughs> there you go, Mr. Squirrel. Keep the cast on for six weeks. And don't get it wet. <laughs> He's totally going to get it wet. Hey there, Snow White. Let's pause for a second. That was Chef Huntsman. A lot of people just called him the Huntsman because he was actually the official hunter for the king. OK, let's continue with the story. Hi, Chef. How's it going? Oh, you know, just hanging out. Cool. He's really nice, and he taught me all kinds of wilderness survival skills. He taught me how to call a turkey. Hello, can I please speak to Mr. Turkey? No, like this. <laughs> how to make s'mores. Are they done yet? Are they done yet? Are they done yet? He even taught me what to do if I encountered an angry fire-breathing dragon. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? It's you, it's you all. Oh. Anyway, what I mean is, he's just cool. <laughs> you huntsman boy, I need to speak to you. Now! You better go. She's been super testy lately. Okay, <laughs> see you later. See ya. Huntsman boy, I need you to do a job for me. Sure, your highness. You to take Snow White out. On a date? A date? No, I need you to take Snow White deep into the forest and sell her to the wizard. I don't get it. There's nothing to get. You take her into the woods, you sell her to the weird wizard who will turn her into a frog or something. I don't think I can do this. It's not nice. Ugh. If you don't do it, I will. And trust me, that's much work for pretty little Snow White. Now run along. You have work to do. This is bad. I mean, you look red. The huntsman was very upset. He went down oh. to sit by the koi pond. That's where he liked to do his serious thinking. I really like Snow White. I couldn't do anything to hurt her. What am I supposed to do? Meanwhile, Snow White went upstairs to do her chores and talked to her friend, the mirror. Hey, how are ya? The queen is making the huntsman take you out. On a date? No, out in the forest where he's gonna sell you to the wizard. Chef Huntsman would never do that to me. The queen said if he doesn't, she'll do worse. I'm gonna miss being a princess, but I will be brave and I will go out into the forest, and I will survive. Aww. One day, I will return. Not as a princess, but as a queen. Snap girl, that was fierce. <laughs> Snow White and the Huntsman set off for their journey into the Grim Forest. It was a little awkward for a few reasons. So, uh, the sky is blue. Uh, uh I mean, a uh, nice day, right? Yeah. <laughs> Perfect day for a stroll. Yeah. Just a nice stroll through a spooky forest. <laughs> Look, I know the queen told you to get rid of me. You do? I won't sell you to the wizard, I promise. Psh, like I was gonna let you. Wow. I can't just leave you out here. I'll be okay. You taught me all kinds of survival skills. 
I better go. Don't want to make the queen mad. See ya, Snow White. See ya, Shep Huntsman. And that's how Snow White began her first day as a non-princess. Well, I better start setting up camp. Perfect. It's shabby chic. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, third time's a charm. Excuse me, Snow White? Professor, boy am I glad to see you. What are you doing here? I live here now. <laughs> We're neighbors. Great, there goes the neighborhood. <laughs> Who's your friend? That's Sassy McSassy Pants. That's your name? I love it! <laughs> My real name is Sasper. It's short for exasperation. No, it isn't. Snow White, you can't live out here like this. Oh, sure I can. I'm not a princess anymore. I'm just a regular girl. Regular girls don't live under a pile of sticks in Grim Forest. Come on, you're moving in with us. No. Hush, Sasper. Oh, I shouldn't intrude. No, she shouldn't. Nonsense. Let's go. Snow White grabbed her bag and followed the professor and Sasper to their little cottage in the woods. She was so excited. I've never had roommates before. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. Good morning. morning. How long have you guys been there? We're just so excited. We've never had a princess for a roommate or any roommate at all. Except Aww. for all of us, of course. And we used to have a dog. Does that count? I think so. Do you want breakfast? Snacky made pancakes. They're shaped like animals. They're the best. You're so perky for so early in the morning. <laughs> What's your name? Kitty. Cute. You fell asleep as soon as you walked in the door yesterday. Okay, let's do names. Of course I know you, Professor. <laughs> and now you know me and Sassy. I'm Snacky. He's the one who makes the pancakes. I'm sloppy. I see. <laughs> I'm clumsy. That's just my nickname, though. I'm actually quite graceful. I'm okay. Is that everyone? Don't forget me. I'm Tiny. Oh. Hi. <laughs> Well, I'm pleased to meet all of you. <laughs> Finally, it was settled that Snow White would spruce up the cottage in exchange for free room and board. She did other little things too, like cut their hair and make a new chef's hat for Snacky. Oh, and she changed all the light bulbs, which was a huge help. <laughs> Snow White kept so busy that she didn't even have time to miss home. Actually, speaking of home, the evil queen was having a ball without Snow White around. She brought the mirror with her everywhere and showed everyone how it would say that she was the most awesome person in all the land. Ask the mirror if you're the most awesome person. Okay, okay, I'll ask. Mirror, mirror, in my hand, who's the most awesome person in the land? It's you, queen. You are so awesome. Pretty rude, though, if you ask me. Hear that? I'm the most awesome person in the land. Three cheers for me. Oh, yay. Let's have a party in my honor, and I'll save my first dance for you, Mr. Huntsman. I, uh, actually can't. I'm busy. Busy? Too busy to attend a party of the queen? What are you doing that's so important? She watched the Huntsman from her window as he walked out of the palace and straight toward... Grim Forest? Wow. Suspicious. I'll have to follow him and find out what he's up to. The queen followed the huntsman into the woods. Who's there? What was that? Finally, they stopped. Hey there. Snow White! The queen rushed over to the witch's shop and barged right in. Hey, I don't hear knocking. This is an emergency! I need something! Something... Evil. Yeah, all right. What? No, no, I'm turning to stone. Why? Help, help, help. Wow. Oh no, Snow White had become a statue from head to toe. The dwarves were just coming back from work. What's that? Looks like a statue. It looks like Snow White. Cool, I want a statue that looks like me. Wait, I think this is Snow White. It must be an evil curse from that evil queen. She's so evil. The dwarves were so upset. Maybe she could kiss a frog. Here! Why do you have a frog in your pocket? Why not? It's cute! Okay, let's reverse this spell. Maybe say some magic words! Alakazam! Abracadabra! Kalamazoo! What you! It's no use! We don't know magic! We could go to a witch. Yes! 
We have to save our friend! The professor and Giddy set off to find a witch to reverse the spell. The two finally found what they were looking for. Ye old magic shop! Hello! Hi! Ding, 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 ding! Ah! Uh, I mean, hello! I'm Giddy! Good for you! And I'm the professor! We need to reverse an evil spell! What kind of spell? Our friend was turned to stone! That worked? Wow! Uh, alright, I mean, uh, let's see what I have in the antidote department. That means stuff that undoes bad stuff. While Giddy, Professor, and the Witch mixed up the antidote, the evil queen was back at her castle, thinking, How do I know some dingbat isn't gonna stumble along and reverse this spell? I'm sure it's fine. Nope, I'm going back to take the statue. The evil queen strikes again. Wake up, guys! It's time to save Snow White! We have the antsy goat! Wait! Where's Snow White? I bet the evil queen took her. We have to go find her! There's the castle. Now what? We storm the gates and find Snow White! Wait! There's Snow White now! I have the witch's antidote. We'll just go up and turn her back to her old self. Hey, Professor, over here. Hey! Why are you in jail? The queen locked me up for trying to help Snow White. Suddenly, there was the evil queen standing right between the dwarves and Snow White. Save Snow White? Never! We will save her! It's time to fight back. The dwarves grabbed the queen's legs and stopped her in her tracks. Get off me! Get off! The queen tried to move forward, but it was no use. But then she spotted the witch's spell-reversing potion in the professor's hand. Give me that! No way! Got it! <laughs> now get off me! Then the professor had an idea. You want us to let go of you? Yes! Let go! Okay! Let go, guys! <laughs> Evil Queen dropped the antidote and it fell right smack dab on Snow White's head. Shoot, birds! Shoot! Why am I back at the castle? And Shep, why are you in jail? The Evil Queen put me here. No. Where is she? Over there! Owie! Let's bust Shep out of jail and put that bad apple in his place! Yeah! No! Sorry, majority rules! Evil queen drools! <laughs> Once the evil queen was locked away in jail, Shep, the dwarves, and Snow White all kicked back and relaxed, happy as could be. Now how's that for a happy ending? <laughs> and that's the end! Hopefully Snacky can cook up an amazing cake to celebrate! Thanks for coming to Storytime. Can't wait to read more stories with you at Storytime soon.